Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, wherever you're from. It's so glad, I'm so glad to have all of you here. I just get overwhelmed thinking about it. I just, I feel so blessed that I can do these classes. I get to wake up and connect to everyone and to share some funny sayings today on the crazy trail for Fun Topic Friday. So that's where we're at, you guys. So let's get started. Today, we're going to continue funny sayings. So what are some funny sayings that we use in English that are kind of silly? Well, one thing, it's not too silly, but we often say cash is king. And what does it mean when we say cash is king? Cash can do everything. It doesn't have restrictions like plastic does where they won't accept it. But cash can do everything. It can buy anything that money can buy. All right. So what's another saying? This is kind of a silly saying. We say tickled pink. Tickled pink. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> so, tickled pink. So, there's our syllable. Tickled pink. I was tickled pink. So, it kind of means that you were surprised or happy that something happened. So, if I got a new job... And I didn't expect that I could say, oh, I was just tickled pink that I got the new job. I was just tickled pink that I was able to go on a date with this girl that I really thought a lot about. That was really, that was really something special for me. All right, let's do another one. <laughs> ah, so this is kind of something that I hadn't thought about for a long time. So I haven't heard this in... Gosh, I don't even, ages, I guess we would say. <clears throat> so we say knee high to a grass hopper. So knee high to a grass. So it's two words, actually. Let me, I better separate it, make it a little bit nicer for you guys. My bad. So today is kind of our day where we just can wear what we want, just kind of have a chill out day. Grasshopper. All right. My brain is having a chill day already. I apologize. Knee high to a grasshopper. So if you think about your leg, in the middle of your leg is your knee. And it's pretty far down. It's not very high. So when we see somebody that's growing up, say a baby that we haven't seen for a long time, maybe it's somebody in our family, we could say, oh, they are knee high to a grasshopper. Now a grasshopper is that high, right? So it could mean they're still very small or that they're starting to grow up, okay? All right, let's do another one. Happy as a clam. All right. What does that mean? To be happy as a clam. So if you look at a clam, it looks like a giant smile, right? <laughs> it could be a giant smile. At least if you look at it from the front. But it's kind of like that. So, yeah. Happy as a clam. It just means that you're in a really good mood. How are you doing today? I'm as happy as a clam. Oh, she looked as happy as a clam today. So nice to see her so much happier than she was yesterday. <laughs> Is that you? I hope not. All right, let's learn some more. So glad all of you came. It's so nice to be able to connect 
to such a big community of people that are learning, that are hungry to know English. So great, you guys. I'm so glad you're here. And thank you for giving me this privilege to teach you funny sayings on Friday. <laughs> and if you don't know already, we do a live stream Tuesday through Saturday on different topics. And it's always good to learn syllable sounds with intonation. That's how the natives speak. That's the only difference, you guys. All right, let's learn some more sayings. We didn't come here to yak yak. We came here to learn English. Okay. Hmm. Easy as pie. Now, I never really understood this saying. Easy as pie. How can pie be easy? It just means something is simple. That's all it means. Easy as pie. I don't know where the saying originated and what the real intention of it is because it's such an interesting play on words. It's been around for a very long time, and it's still relevant and used today. All right. Fit as a fiddle. What does that mean? Fit as a fiddle. All right, well, let's find our easy, easy, sim simple, Fiddle, fiddle. All right. So a fiddle is, is a, another name for a violin. The violin is the string instrument that they play like this. I can't even make a violin sound for crying out loud. You know, it, it's like if, if you feel sorry for somebody, we play the little violin. I feel so sorry for you. I'll play my little violin. And so... But in this case, it's fit as a fiddle. That means somebody's in good shape. Maybe they work out. Maybe they go to the gym. Just means they're fit. All right, they look good. Maybe they feel good. When you work out, you feel good. How about you? Do you work out? I try to go to the gym at least four days a week. Sometimes five, but at least four. And that's a good thing. All right. So let's say these, easy as pie, fit as a fiddle, fiddle. All right, so let's do a couple more. Let me clear the board, give some room. I'm trying to make these letters and words a little bit bigger. I'm hoping it's easier to see. I tried to get a big board, but pff, this is the biggest board that I could find at the time, so... Bear with me, you guys. And at some point, I'm going to be traveling, so I'm not sure I'm going to have a big board then either. So it's probably good that I get used to a small board. So I'll have to buy boards when I'm on the road traveling the world. All right. Madder than a wet hen. Hmm. Oh, that's an unusual saying. Madder than a wet hen. Now, a hen is a form of a chicken. And how mad can it be? <laughs> Maybe if it got wet, it would be quite mad. So it just means that someone is angry. Very angry. Let's just say very angry. And instead of saying, how come you're so angry? We could say, you look madder than a wet hen. They were madder than a wet hen. So madder than a wet hen. Okay. Let's do another one. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I don't know. You might not understand this, but I'm going to teach it anyway. Happier 
Happier than a tornado in a trailer park. Now, <sighs> what is a trailer park? <laughs> a trailer park is a place where people live in, they call them mobile homes or trailers, and they're all lined up with their own yard and driveway, and it's an inexpensive place for people to live. Now, the people that live in the trailer park, they say are not always the highest quality people in society. And it's just a stereotype, which means that because they live there, it's assumed they don't have a lot of money and maybe they're not good people, which is pretty ridiculous because I lived in a trailer park and I am not too low quality, maybe a little bit of low quality, but, uh, and it was an inexpensive place for me to start out. And it was a nice, a nice escape from living in an in, in apartment. So it was the next step before I owned a house. I went from apartments, I went from roommates to apartments to having my first trailer house where I could have my own place, which was really cool. And so some people make it into a joke. And one of the things about trailer parks is they're not safe. So if there's a tornado storm coming through the area, the trailers aren't bolted to the ground. They're not, they're not held down to the ground. So oftentimes they get really destroyed and oh my gosh. And so the saying is happier than a tornado in a trailer, trailer park. Okay. And yeah, they do a lot of damage. And if a tornado is out to do damage it can really do a lot of damage at the trailer park because they're all up above the ground they're not down into the earth so yeah it can be a really bad deal and i feel bad for the people because they usually lose everything if they're in the path of a tornado it's really bad so yeah and hopefully that wasn't you but that's the saying they have and just letting you know how life is. All right, so I'm so glad all of you came. It's such a blessing to have such a wonderful audience to this class. And let's get started with a few more sayings. Okay, let's do a different page here. Slower than molasses. I'm just thinking about this too. Slower than, let's see, where's the syllables for this one? Molasses. Molasses. Slower than. doesn't I'll have to switch okay it came back all right so the saying is slower than molasses that's pretty slow right slower than molasses if you have pancakes you're eating some pancakes right and maybe you have a bunch of pancakes on a plate and you pour out, you pour out your syrup, which is what molasses is. It's a syrup. Is it? Is it? No, I think it's. I think no, it could be Y syrup. I can't remember if it's a S U R or S Y R U P. Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, you pour out your syrup onto your plate, and it's coming out so slow. 
so slow. And if it's cold out, it's even slower. And it's like you're waiting and waiting for the syrup to come out onto your pancakes. And that's what it means, slower than molasses. And you could use this saying, hurry up, Mavel, you are slower than molasses. What took you so long? I waited and waited. You're slower than molasses. You're slower than your sister. For heaven's sake. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming to Fun Topic Friday. This is the day where I get to have a little fun. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it's fun for you also. <laughs> ah, let's do another one. Happier. I always like these happier sayings. Happier. I bet you do too. Than a clam. <laughs> a clam's already smiling, right? At... Low tide. All right. So you have, hmm, let's find our syllables first. Happier than a clam at low tide. Okay. So you have the ocean, right? And the ocean comes in and it goes out. And when it goes away, you have a big beach. And that's called low tide. When the water comes in, you have a less beach because the water comes back. So we have high tide where the water is high and low tide when the water goes out. And if you're a clam and you're waiting to get back into the ocean and it's low tide, the ocean's way far away and you're waiting for the tide to come back. And the saying is, happier than a clam at low tide. So you're not going to be too happy at low tide because you want the ocean so you can go swimming and eat and do whatever. <laughs> so that's what it means. So you're not so happy because you're waiting for the ocean to come back. I think I have room for another one. Let's do another one, you guys. All right, let's look at our time. We have three whopping minutes. This class is only from 6 a.m. until 6.20, and then we do a 6.30 to 7 a.m. So this stream repeats every Friday. Fun Topic Friday is when we go to the crazy trail. Mm -hmm. We go off the rails on the crazy trail, you guys. Crazy as a bag of cats. I haven't really heard this one. Crazy as a bag of cats. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, though, in my brain. I'm going, what would that be like? A bag of cats. That would be probably crazy, right? Because they'd all be moving around and very unhappy to be in the bag unless they were tired. Then they would just maybe lay there. But in this example... They're pretty crazy. So it's just trying to say that something is crazy going on. It's very crazy. It just means something's very crazy. Are you very crazy today? <laughs> Maybe you're crazy as a bag of cats. Got to add the S there. All right. Crazy as a bag of cats. Whoops. Let's just say very crazy, not very cats. All right. My brain gets a little distracted unless I've had enough coffee. Maybe that's you also. All right. Happier than a clam at low tide or crazy as a bag of cats. Even I learned some of these sayings as we go through these. So it's very nice to have you. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and you will get the opportunity to connect to a wonderful community and we'll just keep learning English learn pronunciation if you have any issues if you struggle with pronunciation just drop me a message i am so mm, i don't want to puff myself up but i'm so good at helping people to pronounce 
things that they've struggled with. I can just get get it right right away for people. So every once in a while, I find one that's difficult, but I don't give up. I don't give up. If there's something you want to pronounce, I'll keep working at it until we get it. And eventually we'll get it. I promise that, okay? All right, you guys, we're out of time. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Back to the crazy trail. Don't forget to come back for part two. See you soon.